Welcome to our Joyful and Merry Quilting 25 Day Christmas Countdown. Each day, we will open Santa's bag filled with either exclusive discounts, tutorials, patterns, tips, and great gift ideas for your 25 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar. And remember, answer the question at the end of each video and you will be entered in our drawing for some great prizes. We have several prizes that we're going to be giving away and you will not want to miss this. You're gonna wanna win. So, let's see what Santa has in his bag for us today. Welcome to day number 19 of the Joyful and Merry Quilting 25 Day Christmas Countdown. Day number 19. More stuff, more options, more suggestions for presents. Let's see what this bag has to offer. This is a good one. This is one of my favorite quilting tools. I know it's a little pricey. It's an iron. It's an Oliso iron. It is a travel, kind of a travel, a smaller iron, a more portable iron. But when I first got it, I thought it was just for travel. And now I use it all the time because I love the way it's small. It gets really hot. It's perfect that way. I just love the little silicone mat that comes with it. You can just set it down on your pressing surface. You don't have to worry about it scorching or burning anything. This is such a great little iron. It comes in a variety of colors and I received this as a gift and I'm telling you, this has been a go-to for me. Not only when I travel with it, or go to a class or go to a retreat, but also just when I use it at home. I find that the small iron works well when I don't need the big, huge iron to press my blocks, or especially if I'm working on something that's small, which I do a lot. I like the smaller surface here. I also like the tip. It's a nice pointed tip and it does work really well when I'm trying to press through, whether it's just opening up a seam when I'm pressing those seams open or just when I'm trying to press a block or a point and I wanna make sure it's crisp and clean. I love this iron and I think you will too. The link to the iron is in the description for this video if you are interested. Again, I know it's a little pricey, but to me, it is very much worth it. Aliso is a great brand to start with and then in addition to that, the quality of the iron, the way that it gets hot as it does, the size, silicone mat, it just offers all sorts of great things when it comes to quilting and I really enjoy using it. So I'll click on the link, see what you think. If you are interested in winning the Fat Quarter Shop Foundation Piecing Package donated by the Fat Quarter Shop with all these great tools in addition to those sunburst foundation papers, answer the following question as a comment to this video below and you will be entered in the drawing, possibly be the winner of this particular prize. The question for today is, what is your preferred method when it comes to basting a quilt? Do you stitch? Do you pin? Do you clip? Use basting spray? Do you take it to the long armor and let them do it? What's your preferred method? And tell us why. We'd like to know what is going on out in the basting world right now. What are people using? What techniques work for you? So please let us know, we'd like to hear. I just wanna thank you so much for your support when it comes to our Joyful and Merry Quilting 25 Day Countdown. I love your comments, I love your emails, I love your questions, I love just knowing that you want to get involved in the whole quilting experience just about as much as I do. So I thank you for that. I am always trying to be joyful, but I will always be merry. See you tomorrow.